Hello everyone, Jerry here from HDAModelWorks.com and on today's video I'm going to be going back and working on the AMT NPC Cutaway Millennium Falcon Kit. It's been a few days since I've had a chance to work on it and it's going to be fun to finally get back to it. I'm going to specifically be working on the engine lighting at the back of the vessel. Uh, I'm going to be using blue LED strip tape and white LED strip, strip tape and I'm going to be trying to achieve a pulsing effect uh, for the main engines. And to do that, I'm going to be using uh, a programmable electronic circuit board and another control circuit piece. So let's get right to it. Now this is my little back plane I've created for the um, engines on the um, Falcon. But I had two strips of white LED tape on here, double density. And then I added a strip of blue double density on the bottom and I have this strip for the top. So what I'm going to try to do is get an effect where I can have the blue strips come on first and then have the white come on which is going to really blast out the blue a lot but I want to see if I can create an effect of the light pulsing so I'm sorry the white light pulsing uh, with the blues on solid and see what that looks like here's the blue LED tape uh, lit up one of the things I like to do is I like to take a little bit of uh, low temp hot glue after I do my soldering work and put some hot glue onto the lead mounts because there's not a lot of solder there. I put some hot glue on top of the solder joints and on the wires to help provide a little insulation without having to pull out any heat shrink or whatever. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of the wires because I have a little bit of metal exposed a little far farther than what I'd like. So now we'll go ahead and take the um, the uh, backing tape off of uh, the LED strip for the adhesive and we'll position this down onto the piece and let's turn it back on just to make sure it's working. Back, I'm going to come back and add some hot glue some low temp hot glue. I only use low temp hot glue. I don't use the regular stuff. And this is this is just to help the strip stay on and connected to the other strip as well. It's a good idea to hold this down like this. Uh, you never know as you're moving the model around and flexing things and working the stuff. If you don't have enough connection points, it may ultimately come undone. So doing something like this is. Um, not a bad idea. So now that's done and I've created an array of LED strips I'm going to um, go ahead and see what we're going to work out on the electronics for this. Now I've, I've got the um, lights fitted in and I've got it all wired up and most of this is on a breadboard um, but I want to go over real quick what I'm doing here. Um, but what I'm using is one of these right here, and I'll show you an Arduino Uno. And I'm using this Arduino to power the effect uh, for the engine port lightings on the Falcon. And I have it hooked up right here, and I've uploaded the sketch, the program, and it's causing a pulsing effect, as you can see, hopefully, maybe, on that LED if I cover it up a little bit. You can see that pulse. Now, you can't drive LED tape like the LED tape here on the back of the Falcon uh, with an Arduino board. What you have to use is a 12 volt source to go ahead and power these but you need to use what's called a MOSFET and it's one of these right here and this is an in-channel MOSFET and what I'm doing with this is this acts as a gatekeeper so to speak and you can pass 12 volts through this device. So what I'm doing is I'm passing 12 volts through this 
to power the LED tape in this case the white LED tape but the Arduino board is sending commands to the MOSFET to the gate to open and close and that opening and closing in a certain time interval is causing the pulse uh, will cause the pulse effect on the uh, LED tape I've just turned on the blue LED tape um, because I think when I do this effect I probably will have the LED tape just come on or ramp up and then following that white tape will come on so let me go ahead and um, turn that part on and hopefully you can see that now let me take a piece of plastic and put up here and this is not the plastic I'll probably be using but it does a nice diffusion maybe I will use this because it does a very nice diffusion um, and you don't really see any hot spots whatsoever with this type of uh, plastic and will give the give those engines a nice bright pulsing effect so I think that may work it's gonna have it's gonna require some tweaking but I think that's gonna look probably pretty cool in the back of the Falcon you know the proof is in the pudding once I get the top hull put on and adjust the LEDs uh, the LED strip in terms of how it's inside the model and then the diffusing material that goes in place hopefully you guys can see that and see how that looks let me um, let me see if I can turn some of the lighting out you know, I think that really nice bright uh, effect is going to look really really cool so the next thing I need to do is alter the sketch so I can get the um, the uh, white to ramp up and then you know do that pulsing effect so I want it to turn on and fade up into blue and then fade up into the white and then start the pulsing but regardless I think that's going to look pretty awesome I've made some adjustments and I don't know if it can show on camera or not but I've altered the brightness um, for the pulsing pattern for the white which allows more of the blue along the top and the bottom to show up so I'm getting the blue LED tape which I wanted on the top and like on the bottom and I'm getting the white pulse effect in the center and that's looking pretty good I I can see as I go ahead and check on my computer monitor that the blue is really showing up more here on the top than on the bottom on camera but in person it's showing up pretty good on the bottom and the top I think the bottom may need some adjustment in terms of the location of those blue uh, LED, that blue LED strip but I like this effect and I think I'm going to go with this so it's nice and bright um, let me show you what that looks like with the camera uh, with the lighting off and I think that's really good so I think that's the effect I, I was uh, looking for and I'm pretty close to simulating uh, what I wanted so I think that's what I'm going to do I hope you like it uh, I certainly do so that's uh, I think that's going to be it for this video when we come back in the near future with maybe that video we'll have uh, this light fully installed in the model with everything soldered up and in place and not running off of breadboard that's pretty cool so I want to thank you for watching please subscribe and check out hdamodelworks.com for a lot of good uh, modeling products thanks a lot and happy modeling everyone